All right, I just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, maybe it helps somebody. This is a vehicle specific video. You can find it. You can find videos like this on YouTube all over the place for different cars, but this is just for third gen Camaros or Firebirds. Um, so this is how you wire up an electric fan, or at least the way I wired up an electric fan. As you can tell, I have a Felpro 16 inch fan wired in here. Um, I used to have a, a clutch style uh, manual fan. Um, so all I did with that is I took that off. I got rid of that stud setup. I took this pulley out. I broke off or I uh, undid the extra pulley that I had for the spark pump, which this car doesn't have anymore. So I may, I think it looks a little cleaner. I got some nicer looking bolts. Um, got that mounted up. But back to the fan. So the way that I ran it is I installed the fan directly to the radiator using those long... Um, style zip ties uh, they work great just make sure you uh, get some new ones uh, get make sure you get the little pads that come with it uh, all that and it'll work for really well this thing's pretty sturdy on there I ran the harness zip tied it up to here and then uh, your red cable is gonna run to your fuse block here so I got the actual block you can do just a relay but I prefer these little blocks because you can pop the relay on and off. Um, I just I just think it works better. Um, I just went through the sheet metal here, uh, mounted it on there. So your thicker gauge red cable, uh, one side is going to run to your fan. And then it's going to break off in here. And then the other side is going to, at least mine goes all the way around, goes to this fusible link. Uh, you can use different style ones. I kind of don't like this one. But... Um, you can get any fusible link. And then I ran that to the battery. I just uh, got a larger connector and I cut into the casing here. Uh, I personally would recommend you get the stud that goes in here. And then you can add more accessories and go directly to that. I just did this because I needed to get it installed and that's the only way I could do it. So that's the red cable, the main, main red thick gauge cable. One side is gonna go to your fuse link, that then goes to your battery. Other side is going to go to your fan. This orange cable here is my ground. I just got it directly from here. This is the ground for the battery. So it's the same as getting ground from your battery. I just think it looks cleaner than having to wire go all the way across. So I would recommend you do that. Then you also have two more cables in here. So you're going to have a brown and a black. Black cable is going to be the signal from your uh, sensor. I ran mine all the way through here, I went in through this harness, through there, and then it goes into here. I would recommend you get the lower degree one. So this one is a 180 to 200. That means it turns on at 200 and it turns off at 180. I don't recommend that. I like to have my car run a little cooler. But this is the proper operating temperature for this car, which I think is like 200 degrees. But I'm going to get the cooler one just so that it turns the fan on when it gets a little, um, when it gets to 180 instead of turning on when it gets to 200. So I ran that in there. I used just a regular port. If your car doesn't have two ports like this, you can try getting the T, but that might throw off the sensor. So I recommend you get one of these aluminum uh, necks. You can easily find them. They're pretty cheap. They're like 16 bucks. I got this one at Nap, I believe. Yeah, so it's got two holes. Uh, this is for my temperature uh, sending unit or sensor. And then that one is for um, my, um, my fan control. Uh, you can also add a switch. So what happens is when this gets to that temperature, it grounds out, which then sends signal back to the relay to turn on, and it kicks the fan on. I would also recommend you add a switch to this cable. So grab yourself a switch, grab yourself some more cable, uh, and then run it inside because these do tend to fail so you want to keep an eye on your temperature if it starts going too high and this isn't kicking on you have a backup switch that you can then hit and it'll turn on your fan uh, manually so it's just a safety feature if you don't want to do it you know it's up to you it's your car um, the next cable is going to be your brown cable um, so then, hold on black oh sorry I think I messed up but black cable is going to be for your uh, sensor uh, brown cable is for your accessory 12 volt when the key is on 
So this gets 12 volts when you turn your key on. If not, this red cable is either not going to have power or it's always going to have power. So you need to make sure that this cable is plugged into the right place or spliced into the right place. I got my accessory 12 volt, so you can follow it. It's this one here, goes through here. I got mine directly from my electric choke. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but electric choke is only on when the key is on. Again, we're not getting the 12 volts to run the fan from here. We're just getting the signal for the relay to turn on uh, when the key is in the ignition. And you're either starting your car or you're gonna start your car or running. Um, so yeah, I just got it from here. You can also run the cable all the way inside, go to your fuse box, pick an empty slot, and do all that stuff. But I found this easier. So brown cable I got from electric choke. Black cable goes to your sensor. And then red cable. Um, it comes with a short one and a long one. Uh, I believe the short one is for your fan. The long one is for your battery which doesn't really matter which one you do but um, so yeah that's up to you but yeah so that's the way I ran it that's the way you know maybe help someone out maybe they can run it um, also this is radiator support is in the original one this was from an 87 87 formula that I owned but when I total that car I took this stuff out and I took that fan from it too uh, that car was easier because that car already had an electric fan so all I did was wire this harness into that harness and um, the car worked perfectly fine. So if you have an electric fan and you want to get a new one, this is really easy to do. Um, I didn't use the bottom support part, so you don't need that either. This is just to hold the radiator up or you can make a custom one or you know do whatever you want. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, write a comment and I'll try to answer whatever I can.